Okay, welcome to Paris. Uh, Intrepid Control Systems is excited to be here, uh, not because of the city itself, although Paris is fantastic. Uh, we're excited to be here because of you. It, it doesn't, it may not seem like it to you, it, may, it doesn't seem like it to me most of the time, but Open Alliance, which is today, and IEEE, which is tomorrow and the next day, are uh, groups of, it's a group of small number of elite engineers from around the world with the specific purpose of advancing the communication systems and electrification of the entire automobile industry. The work that you've already done has already had a major impact on the industry and the work that we'll continue to do will, will continue to have a major impact on the industry a long time into the future around the world. And this is why we're excited. When, when you go into a, a field of science and uh, technology, if you think back to when you started your schooling, you have to go into it for one of a couple small number of reasons. First reason could be you just like technology. I like writing software, I like electronics, that's the reason why I went into it. But there's also another uh, secondary, more important reason, and that is often people want to know that they're going to go into a field that makes a difference, that actually matters. And with that in mind, I want to tell a quick story. I have an uncle, this is a true story, I have an uncle who has never flown in an airplane in his entire life because airplanes are too dangerous. But the same uncle drives his truck every day. Okay, so what's more dangerous, airplanes or trucks and automobiles? I think you guys know the answer already. You can go to the next slide, please. Uh, in 2013, these are statistics for the United States, there were 224 deaths as a result of uh, airplane accidents. The same year, there were more than 1.25 million fatalities as a result of vehicular traffic. So you can see here, there's quite a scale of difference and you can see which one's more dangerous. There's another way to represent this as well. Next slide. This is on a global scale. If we look at the number of deaths as a result of injuries, so anything that's not related to disease, not related to war, injury-related deaths on a global scale, worldwide, number one, vehicular traffic, 37.9%. So we can say this a different way. The industry that you and I are involved with, what we are involved with engineering and producing, can be said to be the most dangerous legally sold product on the face of the earth. Well, congratulations. <laughs> the good news is, is that what this means is, is that the work that you and I do, it actually matters. It makes a difference. And that's what I love about it. Because when we work on communication systems and then that advancing communication systems then can be used in an, in an advanced driver assistance system, or collision avoidance, or uh, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, and the list goes on and on. When, when, we, when we work in these areas, it means the work that we're doing actually does, for real, save lives. It does make a difference. And so that's one reason why uh, we're excited to be here. And Intrepid Control Systems, our, our company, we have a small little piece of this whole big uh, automotive world of electronics and communication systems, and that piece is vehicle network tools. So what do we have new for this year? You can continue, this, let's skip this for, uh, for time's sake. Skip, keep on going, please. I had to cut the presentation down. <laughs> and yeah, one more, one more. <laughs> okay. So that, that, that just shows, I was, gonna, I was gonna talk about the standardization and the work that we're doing in Open Alliance and how complex it is and how good it is to share this complexity amongst multiple companies, but I didn't have time to talk about that, so I had to skip. Uh, what we have new for this year in Trumpet Control Systems inside of our vehicle supply software, we are started uh, creating automated uh, TC8 test setups. So we already produce hardware for a long time for automotive ethernet. And now we're building into our software the capability to do the standardized tests that you guys have already created as part of TC8. So that's something new. Next slide, please. Another thing that we're doing is, is we've had the ability to decode the bits and bytes of AVB and TSN traffic, like PTP, for example, and the, the uh, uh, dissect the protocols. 
But now what we're doing is, is we're able to actually interpret the streams. So inside of Vehicle Spy, we can now interpret the actual AVB streams and we can perform actions and filters on uh, those streams as well. So this will give you uh, some, some new applications and new ways in which you can use tools. We want you to visit our booth and we'll talk more about this. Next slide, please. Uh, we've added uh, additional capability for uh, ABB and TSN streams, specifically for uh, GPTP, uh, Persistent Client Protocol Analysis. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll visit our booth to, to talk more about that. And in order to do any of this, specialized hardware is needed. Because uh, in the automotive Ethernet world, it's necessary to have very accurate clocking of messages if you're going to be analyzing real-time traffic. Uh, our hardware goes down into 10 nanosecond time accuracy, which is, uh, as far as we know, the fastest hardware on the planet. All of our products are, as well are designed for the automotive industry in vehicle testing. So that means the, volt, the temperature range goes from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees C. And the voltage range, input range, goes from 5.5 volts for cold crank all the way up to 40 volts for load dump on the 24 volt system. Okay, so to summarize this presentation, I'd like to throw out another statistic. There are four billion people living in city centers on Earth. That number is going to increase over time, of course, but the number is also going to increase as a percentage of the population of Earth over time, too. So about half of Earth's population today live in densely populated city centers, about half. That number is going to increase over time. So in the future, there's going to be more than that. 100% of those people are affected by vehicle emissions. 100% of those people are affected by vehicle safety. So when we work on things in the part of Open Alliance as part of IEEE and we give other engineers within our companies the ability to improve advanced driver assistance systems, safety systems, emission systems, uh, electrification of the, the vehicle, we're not affecting 100 people, we're not affecting 1,000 people, we're not even affecting a million people. What we are doing is, is we're having an effect on entire societies. We're having an effect on billions of people. So we always want to do our work with pride, passion, and persistence. And when you need vehicle network tools, come and see Intrepid Control Systems. Thank you for your time.